here at Grand American Ballpark, we play on five varieties of perennial ryegrass. All of them are the GLS varieties, which means they're all gray leaf spot resistant. But unfortunately, ryegrasses are also very susceptible to pythium, brown patch, summer patch, and the rest of the uh, summer diseases that we face. When temperatures get into the 90s, and our nighttime temperatures, more importantly, don't go below 70. Uh, that's when we really uh, increase our fungicide applications. On a typical um, spring or late fall, we might only go every 14 to 21 days with applications. When we're in the heat of summer, we're spraying every seven days um, different chemistries on the grass to ensure that we don't get any kind of diseases such as pythium or brown patch. Um, as far as the differences between the, the bluegrass and the ryegrass, the ryegrass really uh, comes back a lot quicker from seed. I can overseed the, uh, our wear areas and the ryegrass is literally back up out of the ground in three to four days. If I try to do that with bluegrass, it's going to take me 14 to 20 days with very little traffic on it before I can really reestablish bluegrass from seed. So in areas, in my wear areas, we're going to spread at a rate of about 15 to 20 pounds per thousand ryegrass over all my wear areas, areas constantly during the season. And that way we're constantly bringing in and introducing new grass into those wear areas. Therefore, hopefully those areas will not get too bad and too warm.